And here's Dave. Hey guys, Dave here with Funky Food with Dave, Paula, Jake, and Cap are over there. Jake's in the other room sleeping. Cap's over here sleeping. Cap went to daycare yesterday from about six in the morning to five in the afternoon because we went to a food trade show. And Cap was at daycare. His brother was there and other puppy friends, and he got exhausted playing puppy games. And he uh, he didn't move much last night, and he hasn't moved much today. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. It's starting to get very windy today, here right now. It was uh, 50 today and started raining, but tonight it's supposed to get down to 15, and tomorrow only a high of 20. Yeah. But then on Friday, Saturday, Sunday next week, it's supposed to be near the 50s and near 60 with rain. So we're going to have an early spring. Um, no so, complaints here. Oh, remember I just like, hate mud season. Uh, yeah, I do. Remember, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And before we get into anything, i got a quick little note here from uh, the Gypsy Vanilla Grill. It says, Funky Food with Dave. Love the weird and crazy foods you try. Do you see the front, which is the front of this? What is scotch broth? And he's talking about right here. It's an upside down can of scotch broth. Scotch broth is a, a broth that's made with uh, lamb on bone. And then it, you add potatoes, carrots, barley. I can't remember what else. And then you take, you take the, the mutton out off the bone and you can put the mutton back in there. Some people put it in there, some people don't. So that's what scotch broth is. Actually, if I could find a can of it, I would, I would do it. Um, today we will be trying, which we got at the, whole, the, uh, the, the food trade show yesterday down in what was it, Whalen, Mass? Whalen, Mass? Yeah, not far from Boston. Yeah, yeah about a forty, about and a half hour outside of Boston. Um, this is from B Squared. Whole food made with love. It's a roasted garlic onion jam. Uh, ingredients: onions, balsamic vinegar, garlic, sugar, canola. There's the little. Uh, what are those called? QR. So if you guys want, you can freeze on that, and I believe you can scan that from your phone too. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, so yeah, this is a uh, roasted garlic onion jam. Hmm. Can I smell? I wonder if I like it. <sighs> that smells so good. Mm. That smell good. Mm. I believe they were out of Warwick, Rhode Island. I believe. I can't remember what the guy said. It's not on here. They're from Rhode Island. Yeah, I know they're from Rhode Island, but I think it was Warwick. I think. But we met some really cool people yesterday. Um, we actually met a, a company, um, Nourish Farm, out of St. Albans, Vermont. Um, went to their booth because it was cheese. Paula's eating it. I'm eating it. Trying all the different samples. And the guy goes, you like that? I said, yeah. I said, it's outstanding. And he goes, well, it's all plant-based. No, no dairy. Non-dairy cheese. And I grew up on a small farm. Worked at my uncle's huge dairy farm. Been around milk cheese all my life and I love cheese and when he said that's uh, a plant based cheese I was blown away to die for it's outstanding in the best blue cheese I've oh. ever had and the funny part is it's uh, not cheese yeah so um, anyways we got home I sent him a message saying you know they have cheese blah 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 this is great and all that good stuff but he sent a message this morning and they want to try one of our hot sauces, so I told him what we got, and he wants to try our bear essential sauce, and they want to try matching it with their sauces. And they're, their cheese. Their cheese, sorry. Their cheese. They're going to match our sauce with their cheese, and if that works, we might be having a business venture with them, which would be awesome. Awesome. And both of, the, uh, both of them at the booth, the owners, were great. Yeah, I, I love the wife. I love the husband, but I was chatting more yeah. with the wife, so... Yeah. So it paid off going to that mm -hmm. trade show yesterday. And right. thank you to our friend Kathleen from mm -hmm. Salsa Sisters yeah. who invited us to go. God, that just smells so good. Do you, if you hear my puppy in the back, he's, having, he's having a dream. You smell the onion, the balsamic vinegar. 
You really get the onion, that balsamic vinegar. I get the garlic, and I get the sugar, but none of them are overpowering. You want to try something? Mm -hmm. I would put it on this, but you can't get my big spoon in there. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I thought you were about to spit it back in. I'm like, what are you doing? Can I have a little more? That's really good. I mean, they had a big picture. Like, people put it on their uh, grilled cheese. I'm going to tell you what this will go good with right now. You you tell me what you think it'll go with. I'm going to tell you what I think. Pot stickers. Pot stickers. Chicken. This would be phenomenal on a nice pork on the grill. Yeah. Do a nice pork uh, tenderloin, split it down the middle, put that in the middle so it basted in there. That would be mm. phenomenal. Just so you know, I'm like the next Gordon Ramsay. I've been take, taking personal oh God, lessons from Gordon Ramsay me I'm up. lately. He did my uh, my Valentine, my birthday, everything. It was <laughs> absolutely to die for. But yeah, he had everything timed. Oh, he was cracking me To be up. honest with you, I love cooking meat. I love cooking pork steak seafood i'll cook chicken but paula cooks it better than i do but i really like to cook this would be phenomenal on pork or uh pot stickers a, a burger um anything this would mm. go really good on that what, you, you think so yeah so yeah give them a look up um it's called b square they're out of rhode island again the q car qr code which was scanned earlier um, on a, it's not a, no heat, so we're not even going to do the heat scale. So on the food product scale, uh, one to two is no panacea, three to four is below par, five to six is run the mill, seven to eight is marvelous, and nine to ten is outstanding. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, eight. nine. I love that. Yeah, it's good. I have, I, 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 even, I don't on. even like hot dogs, but I'm like, that would be good on really? hot dogs. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to order the, the bigger jars because they have the bigger jars, either their sample jars. I'm going to order a bigger jar. Then they also had a new one they just came out with. That we didn't like a tomato. a tomato. Based oh, yeah, I sauce. forgot what it was, but that was good. So we, we should see about that one. But this was outstanding, guys. If you, um, again, check them out. It's called B Squared. They're out of Rhode Island. This is roasted garlic onion jam. Excellent product. I want more garlic. I love garlic. So, got anything to say, honey? No, it was absolutely delicious. Remember, like this video. If you like this video, hit the subscribe notification bar. I don't know what they're doing over there. He's <laughs> trying to, I don't know what he's and, doing. And uh, I'm at 492 subscribers, so I need eight more to go to get that 500. Two of my products already came in for about the 500 subscriber dinner, and I got three others that I got to order. Um, with that being said, hope everybody is doing well. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. And remember, remember, hot sauce never goes out of style. All right, guys. Have a great night. Bye.